Norman Dorsen was a character, you know, great mind, great scholar, great leader, <laughs> but he loved life and he lived it fully. Well, he was passionate about civil liberties. He believed deeply in the principles of equality in the, in the Constitution, and he believed in the capacity of human beings. If some people have rights, why shouldn't other people have rights? It goes back to the First Amendment. He was so committed uh, to righting wrongs and to uh, protecting civil liberties, but he was also such a demanding and thoughtful scholar. But he had this incredible ability to synthesize points of view, to chart a course. He wanted to take ideas and principles and apply them in real and everyday life. The ACLU is an institution with a long history and a long legacy. And yet Norman is himself an institution with a long history and a long legacy. But it's a, the hardest thing to do with an institution is to move it from almost the first rate to the first rate. One of the big things that he brought to the ACLU was the ability to have the vision to see how to make it work as a coherent unit. His great genius was bringing people together and guiding them to achieve things that they could never have achieved on their own. He took us and prove to us that we could be better if we work together. When we represented a young teacher accused of teaching science that undercut the divinity, millions and millions of people said, what is this organization? This is crazy. This is a Christian nation. When he built all these great institutions and made it possible uh, for many of us uh, to strut on a much bigger stage than we would have ever strutted on before, Norman built that stage, but he was perfectly willing to stand in the wings and let other people take the credit. Like any organization, unless you have a sort of steady hand in the tiller, and then it can easily go astray. And I think that he was that steady hand. He turned the ACLU from a fringe organization into one of the core institutions of American life. The fact that we came from an organization that was very small, not assured that it would survive, and that we've evolved into the powerhouse that we now are, had everything to do with the fact that Norman was there when it counted. He believed deep down uh, that uh, he wasn't just creating paper rules that nobody would ever follow. He believed deep down that the victories that he would win in court were going to be translated into the lives of people in the society. What I respected most about Norman was his ability to commit to something or to an issue or to a cause or to an organization long term. That staying power, that, that resilience, that determination, that doggedness, that acumen of Norman Dorsen is what I admired most. Norman Dorsen didn't know the meaning of I give up. And I never saw an obstacle that Norman Dorsen couldn't surmount. So the best legacy that we can attribute to Norman Dorsen is a vibrant ACLU decades from now.